Welcome back to this new Pizza Direct Reel and today we want to create an abstract sci-fi environment for the DeLorean. Uh, let's go! And if you're interested in the camera and if you are interested uh, how to animate a camera and if you are interested how to animate uh, this camera from and if you are interested how to animate the cameras for this intro um, please leave a comment and I can turn this one into a tutorial if you are interested. So here we are in a fresh blender scene and today we create a little environment here for our DeLorean and yeah I just want to import uh, the DeLorean from our last tutorial um, if you uh, don't have uh, the DeLorean you can jump back here into the um, into the tutorial and yeah copy and paste this one out of the scene if you don't follow this tutorial jump back to the palm drive palm drive a tutorial at the beginning um, there we will um, texture this DeLorean and then you can copy and paste this here into a new scene uh, like I do here so let's bring in this one we don't need a cube but we need a plane here for now so let's hide the DeLorean and we want to change here the settings of the plane so press N to get here the side menu and we want to change this to 20 by 40 that's here our floor for today so let's uh, rename this here to floor and we want to bring in another cube here and this is um, yeah back wall here for today so let's uh, change this one here to 9 by 2 by 10 and we want to put this back to 5 by 5 20 by 5 and that's the wall right and i want to duplicate this one by pressing shift and d and bring this here to the left let's rename this quick to the left and minus 5.5 that's that's basically here our scene yeah now we want to create some neon lines and that is easy as well let's duplicate here in the floor and we want to change this here to 0.1 and 40 and let's bring this one up here now to 1.5 by 10 in the z let's rename this to uh, line right Duplicate Shift and D and minus 1.5. That's now the left one. And let's duplicate this one here again. And we want to change here now this in the X to the 90. Bring in this one here now to um, 18.9 by 9. And then the Z to 0.005 and I want to change here the uh, the y value to 20 it's a little bit big but I think that's okay here for now right and let's rename this one here to back shift and D and left let's bring this here over to minus yeah, and the last uh, thing here for now is um, another cube, which will be here our fog cube. So let's rename this one. I want to change this one to 20 by 40 by 10 and bring this into the Z value of 5. So let's hide this one here now. And now we can go ahead and create some materials. Let's go here into the shading and yeah let's select here the floor 
want to create a new material, which is obviously the floor. And the floor one is a black one. And let's leave the specular like, like it is, but we can put down here the roughness. And now we can see that we got a little bit of reflection going on here with the DeLorean. But as you can see, it's not reflecting. So we have to go here into the um, settings and enable screen space reflection. So it looks a little bit better here. And we can enable bloom and ambient occlusion here as well. So let's go ahead with the other stuff here now. Let's hide the DeLorean for now. The back walls don't need a material, so um, yeah, let's leave them. But uh, the lines need some materials, so let's go ahead and material neon. And we want to um, bring in here uh, yeah, a mission. I want to um, bring in here this hex color, which is the blue, and increase the emission strength to 20. And now we can see that uh, the blue is here already <laughs> glowing. So uh, let's select this and bring in these materials here now to the lines. No, line five. Uh -huh. yep. Maybe. Let's put these lines here into collection. The next step will be now um, the camera. So uh, let's jump here into the camera, to the camera view, and I want to change this here now um, to zero by minus 4.45 and 1.13. Uh, let's rotate this here to 90 degrees, zero, zero. Maybe here let's enable the DeLorean, but uh, that's not the final position here only for yeah what we will see here and i want to change uh, now the um camera focal length here to 19 and shift the camera a little bit to 0.06 so as i said the um delorean has not uh, the final position so maybe let's change this now and i want to go and select this one and we can bring this one here to 6.08 and yeah rotate this one in the z value to minus 45. So i think that looks a little bit better let's create now the fog material here for the cube so let's bring in a new material which will be material fog. Yeah, and as always, we don't need the principal BSDF. Let's delete it, delete this one by pressing X. We want to search. If you don't know, the search bar is Shift and A. Sorry for that. And yeah, let's search here now for a volume getter. Let's link this one up. And I want to change this here now to a yeah, grayish grayish color here and bring the density down to 0.1 maybe let's go here now to the rendered mode so we can see a little bit more of what's happening and now we can increase here the anisotropy to 0.87 um, yeah you can see we have here our uh, scene light which is uh, in uh, the which is the light from the start or from, from the beginning and we want to use this but first, um, I want to bring in, or I, first I want to change now here the background color, uh, which is, yeah, gray. And we want to have a dark, dark scene here. So let's change this here to black now. Okay. And that is now our, um, yeah, black scene. And now we can go ahead and change here the light. So let's handle this one now. And the first light, we will need two lights for this scene. This here now, this one. And I want to go here into the light settings. And yeah, first let's change this one here to area light. And 
change this here to this bluish color and we want to increase the power with uh, a zero so we got 10,000 here really bright and we want to change this to rectangle if your area light is not a rectangle change this one now and we want to go with a uh, 1.85 by 40 yeah we want to use here a custom distance of 20 oh that's looking a bit better let's enable shadow contact shadow is always a good idea and now we can go ahead and bring this to the final position let's change this here now so it's a little bit uh yeah off now so let's change this here to zero by 1.5 10 and let's rotate this everything to zero uh press the mouse button and hold it and drop the mouse down then leave the mouse and press zero so you can do this for the three uh, numbers with one step thanks for the tip from from the community and now you can see that we have here now um yeah a light from the top which um fakes a little bit here the neon the neon stripes which is uh, really cool because evie uh has not a uh, global illumination stuff going on yet <laughs> but i think it's coming and yeah let's uh add here or duplicate this one again and uh yeah that's uh more uh, light for the car um itself because i want to create here a cool um rim light now for um our delorean so um let's hit into the settings and we have to change a couple of things so um maybe let's put this light a little bit down so we can see what is going on so let's leave the power like it is and i want to put down here now the volume because um yeah i turn the other light off so we can see it better a little bit better when we turn down here the volume um we can see that's only here in the corner on the <laughs> on the um on the wall so when we um turn down the volume uh yeah the light will not will be visible here in our fog layer so and because we want to light only the car so um let's change the volume to zero okay let's bring in another light here and i want to change here the size a little bit i want to go here with 10.9 as always um that's the settings <laughs> for for this car here if you use another car or something else another whatever another object uh, you have to adjust the settings for yourself okay um and yeah now let's um, bring in this uh, light here for the position for the final position now uh, the weird numbers are coming but that's the best position here for the delorean uh, for me so let's change this here to two bar two point one two six and eight eight point uh, oh nine oh five and bring in this here to two point two six oh three and i want to rotate this here in the y to a 78.8 by 113 now let's go here into the camera view and now we can see that we have here this cool rim light but as you can see now uh, we have here this reflection going on and <clears throat> to avoid this yeah we can change here the specular but as you can see, we don't have any reflections here on our car. Um, we can go ahead here and change the custom distance to five. And now uh, we got only the rim light here on the car. And the last thing is now we want to improve here the reflection uh, of the floor. Um, so, and as always, we can use here the reflection plane and the light probe. So let's bring this one in now i want to change uh the size here to 10 by 20 by 10 but i think the z value is not really important 
uh, it should not be zero, I think. Let's go into the settings. Let's change the distance to five. Uh, we don't want to fall off and flipping offset. Let's leave it like it is. Uh, let's show the preview plane. And we have to put this a little bit here into the upper part. So let's go here with something like 0 0.05, uh, 0 0.01. Let's um, hide here the preview plane. And now we have a really cool reflection here going on. Yeah, the last thing which we can uh, try here now. I didn't try this here in the um, test tutorial. So um, uh, let's go here with a reflection cube map. And I want to turn this into a box. And let's see here now. Um, let's put this a little bit here up. And we have to go here now to the indirect lightning. And let's see first, fake cube map only. This makes a difference. I think here the difference is that here the reflection on the floor is a little bit better. Uh, so let's see. Now let's, let's bake this. And I think that's looking a little bit better. So maybe um, let's delete this here. And I want to uh, increase here the cube map size to 20, 20, 48. It'll be a little bit longer, but let's render this one again. And I think that's looking a little bit better here and the last one if you want to make your final render um increase the render samples to 128 or higher for me 128 was good enough and we can go ahead here into the color management and change this one a little bit to maybe medium high contrast or medium contrast but it's up to you as always, that was this tutorial and if you like my stuff and if you want to support me, check out and follow my YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to activate the bell. Follow me uh, on Instagram if you want to or support me on Cinemarket or Gumroad. See you there and bye.